Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll take our first look at RO 2.0 starting with the Creatura Academy and the new catch-up system for newbies and returning players. As mentioned in my previous video, the Creatura Academy is a new starting point for players in RO 2.0 where players can quickly grow into powerful adventures. Take note that this preview is from the closed beta test server and thus there might still be some changes once released in the official servers. So take this information with a grain of salt. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. First, let's take a look at the new login screen and character creation interface. Personally, I really like the new background music as it gives the classic RO music a new flavor. Upon choosing an empty character slot, we are taken to the new character creation interface, which features the 16 different job classes available, riding a carriage drawn by a Peko Peko. We have the Rune Master, which is the fourth job of night. Arcane Master, which is the fourth job of Wizard. Blade Soul, which is the fourth job of Assassin. Yachi and Amaterasu, which are the fourth job of Male and Female Ninja, respectively. Cellar Hunter, which is a fourth job of Hunter. Dragon Fist, which is a fourth job of Monk. Begetter, which is a fourth job of Alchemist. Solar Traver, which is the fourth job of Bard. Luna Dansus, which is the fourth job of Dancer. Novice Guardian, which is the fourth job of Super Novice. Phantom Dancer, which is the fourth job of Rogue. Chronomancer, which is the fourth job of Sage. Divine Avenger, which is a fourth job of Crusader. Lightbringer, which is a fourth job of Blacksmith. Spirit Whisperer, which is a fourth job of Witch or Doram. And Saint, which is a fourth job of Priest. Upon choosing the class, you can select the gender and change the hairstyle and hair color. And once you're happy with that, just enter your name and the carriage will take your character to Creatura Academy. You'll start the journey as a novice character where you'll be greeted by Sigrifa which is your guide and PC in Creatura Academy. After introducing you to the history of the Academy, she will begin your novice training program. After receiving your weapon, you'll head to Star Tears Forest found at the west portal of the map. Upon entering, find Alexi the Knight NPC and he will teach you how to manually and automatically attack monsters. A dragon boss will then appear and you need to use the play dead skill. After that, you need to report to the Dorum NPC.
Here you'll just learn how to collect items and use the first aid skill. Then he'll ask you to defeat 5 Bachelor Mandragora Seed and collect their loots. Then return to the dorm NPC and he'll give you a transcript which you need to give to Sigrifa. He'll then teach you how to use the butterfly wing which teleports you back to your safe point which is the Creatura Academy. Upon talking to Sigrifa, she'll ask you to choose between the eggshell or the pouring hat headgear. It doesn't matter which one you choose. Just go to Miss Smile to craft the headwear you selected and then take a photo together with Sigrifa in front of the fountain. After that, you will be asked if you prefer to go the third job directly or to slowly level up your character at your own pace. Take note that this opportunity to directly advance the third job is only given for one character in your account, so you have to choose wisely. If you chose to directly advance the third job, You'll be directed to go to the North Portal where the Hollow Adventures is located. Here you'll be greeted by a mysterious owl NPC. This NPC will guide you in choosing a job class that is most suitable for you based on your quiz answers. Afterwards, you can proceed to the respective mentor NPC of your chosen job class. You'll then be promoted directly to third job with base level 120 and job level 60. Talk again to your mentor and choose the build that you prefer. For the ninja class, we have three options, a physical auto attack build, a physical skill damage build, and a magic skill damage build. Upon choosing your preferred build, your mentor will give you a weapon and offhand equipment and will automatically allocate your stats and skills. After that, you can proceed outside where you'll meet the knight, the dorum, and the owl NPCs again. They'll give you an armor, a garment, a footgear, and an accessory to help you in your beginner journey. After that, you'll go into technical training with the Griffa, where you'll learn how to use your new combat skills. Since I chose a shuriken build for my ninja character, I learned the basic shuriken attack skills and hiding skill. At the last part of the technical training, you'll meet the dragon boss again. Upon completion, Sigrifa will give you some feral gifts including a skill reset rod and an eternal rock which you can use to reset your skills and your stat allocation respectively. After that, you'll finally graduate from the Curatora Academy.
Veteran adventurers will also be given a chance to experience this as they'll receive a special admission invitation from Curatora Academy. Before leaving the Academy, talk to Karajan NPC to automatically receive the Beginner to Master Graduation Manual which contains the catch-up system. This manual will issue a series of tasks daily for 21 days which you should complete in order to receive abundant rewards that can accelerate your character's growth. As an example, for day 1, this is the list of tasks that you need to complete and the corresponding reward. Notably, logging in every day will grant one new student award, which gives you a chance to get one of these items from the Curator Academy Gacha Machine. In addition, there will be a huge reward each time you level up your manual. As an example, the reward for achieving level 1 is the Valhalla Weapon Exchange Voucher, which you can exchange for a weapon that increases damage to monsters in Wasteland and Maple Leaf Faramita. Alright, so far I've gone through the new way of creating and leveling up characters in RO 2.0. Overall, I think this new newbie catch-up system will make the experience of new players more rewarding and enjoyable. I'm really looking forward to this update so that both new and returning players can come back and integrate into the game with ease. Feel free to comment down below what you guys think about this new feature. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this video. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.